He'll begin facing Connor Queen and the spark plug catcher for Rhode Island. We have seen him bunt repeatedly this week. There's the bunt. Beauty. No chance of getting it. Yeah, and this is the beauty of CQ. This is Grandpa Rocco Longo. Again, the payoff pitch misses inside. And the first two batters of the night are aboard for Rhode Island. you got to watch the runner in front of you. Grounded right side, and it gets through. The bases are loaded. Throw gets away. Here comes Queen in. One nothing Rhode Island. Loves his kid sister, Laurel. Says she's uh, five going on 21. His slow roll to short, gonna score a run. Big Brother gets the job done, making it 2 nothing Rhode Island. Rick towards short on the one hop. Gavin Weiss fires to first, now home. And another Rhode Island run scores. Sliding in is Castellone. Three, nothing, Smithfield. Impact with the bat, Castellone, and now impact on the bases as well, showing his speed. Check swing. 5-8 left-hander battles back to get the strikeout to begin the bottom of the first. And pitcher Justin Dunn, another Long Islander. Bouncer to first, easy play for Franco Lima. Quickly two away. Strike three call. Connor Curtis, the big left-hander. More than 85 pitches in any given game, so pitch counts are a very big deal. Ninth grader at Gallagher Middle School, where he most likes math. He takes strike three. Three consecutive strikeouts. Bunted back to the pitcher. Land throws. Nobody was covering. It's a two-out base runner for Rhode Island. Climbing, that's really important. Ball gets away. Down to second goes Aglione. Cataret works a walk. First pitch swinging up the middle. Nicely done by the shortstop Gavin Weiss to retire the side. He rips it the other way. A leadoff single to start the bottom of the second. Foul tip held on to by Queen in behind the plate. One out in the second. Now Harrison, as the ball gets away, and the runner goes down to second base. So a runner in scoring position for the first time for New York. Planet he would most like to meet, former Met David Wright. Harrison, slow roller, going to be a tough chance. Curtis flips and got him. Runner advances to third, so Hunt moves up. But there are two away. Strike three called on the inner half. There it is. Barehanded by Pipia, and he gets the dangerous queen in by a step. Dawson looked with the hair. Curtis rips this one. Deep to left. Over to make the play. Andrew Sabalos. What a play in left field by Sabalos. Stayed with it. Punches it the other way and deep down the right field line, and it's going to be extra bases. Smith gets it back in, heading for third, Castellone, and he makes it with a two-out triple. McShane rips the line drive the other way, and that's going to plate the run. He beats the throw to first. It's 4 nothing Rhode Island. Through the third baseman, Pippi, and the inning continues. Down to second goes McShane as Dion reaches first. Payoff pitch coming to Gavin Gibbry. Ball four. Bases are full for Rhode Island. There it is again. Ball four. 
Five nothing Rhode Island. Down on strikes he goes. Pipia comes in and gets out of the jam. What their dream job is in the future and see how that one pans out. First pitch, bunt. Tommy Tabone, the catcher, beats it out. And New York looking to start a rally in the bottom of the third. Rhode Island, a little bit of their own medicine. Pitch gets away from Queenan. Easily down to second goes Tabone. This is, has to be an answer back in in four. Ball four. Called time. Now we're set again with the 0 2. Hit Bases are full. Caught him on the elbow. He understands how important his run is. Big answer for Connor Curtis. Young golfer as well as playing baseball. Plays with his pop. Pitch gets away. This is going to score a run for New York. Sliding in safely, Tommy Tabone. And Massapequa Coast is on the board. And now the 3-2 pitch. Right down the middle. Curtis throwing to Queen it. Land rips it the other way, but right at the second baseman, Dion. Grounder. Gloved by the pitcher, Pipia. One down. Cataract down on strikes. Quickly two away for Mateo Pipia. Impressive. Pipia shuts down Rhode Island in order. Connor Curtis looking for another strikeout. Fought off to the right side. Lima gloves it. Gets to the bag in time to win the race against Gavin Weiss. One out. That's a nice play by Lima right there. Breaking ball. Strike three call. And about to be six in a row. No, the throw is high. A two out base runner as Hunt reaches. Pitch gets away from Castellone. Down to second base. Scrambles Hunt. Swing and a miss. Second strike out of the inning. All smiles. Curtis with Castellone giving him a hug. Swinging away. Lifts it in the air down the left field line. A dive and it's in there. How about that? A leadoff double for Connor Queenan. With Connor Curtis, their power hitter at the plate. And not for long. He's been intentionally walked, so Curtis draws his second walk of the game. Five. Rounded to second. On to second for one. And so one away. Castellone reaches it first on the fielder's choice. McShane grounds it to the hole and it gets through. One run is in. Throw to the plate is high. Two runs come in. Play continues down to second after the base hit. Brady McShane. And they do it again here. Scoring two. Infield in. Not hit hard. Gets by. Gets by the defense there. And Andrew Sabalos at third. And James Steck, who was at center field, had moved over to left field. There it was again. Got him to chase, but the ball gets away. Everybody's safe. Runner goes to second, too. The payoff pitch. <laughs> Strike three call. And he says they have a few of them. They've got some good fortune going tonight. Back strike three. Hit him with the breaking ball. Smith will take his base. His favorite superhero, he says, is Batman. Strike three call. Curtis just keeps throwing the gas. Press 11th strikeout of the night. Yeah. 
Rounded the other way. Over to cut it off McShane. Long throw to first is not in time. For New York in this half inning, they've worked that pitch count up now to 80. Curtis with three strikeouts again in the fifth. Three-time Rhode Island State champs. He went around. Aglione, slow roller, gloved by Pipia. Two out. He's been able to just throw strikes, get ahead of hitters. Cataret pops it up on the infield. That retires the side. Strikeout number 14 on the night for Curtis. Good job, baby. Good job. You got it? Hey, hey. That's why we came here, right? This is why you came here. Braden Castello. Strike three called, and Rhode Island has done it. Smithfield Little is headed to the World Series. Smithfield Little League, representing the state of Rhode Island, was able to do. They learned from their loss against New York early. This time around, they were able to throw strikes. They were able to score runs early. These families have been with them all summer for years. And to get the opportunity to go to Williamsport, I can understand it could be overwhelming. Dude, we're going to Williamsport, yeah. fellas! Yeah. We're going to Williamsport!